We are back with episode number two of the Atlanta United Career Mode. Like I said, I am streaming this on my channel um, at usually around 6.30, maybe even 7.30 every day. Um, today we're starting a little bit later because we streamed the Fulham Career Mode before this episode. Um, and now we're going to jump into the Atlanta United one. So it's going to be a little different every day. But be sure that we are going to be doing at least an Atlanta United and Fulham Career Mode every single day on the channel. And we are going to be editing it down to a VOD that you guys can watch and usually like 15 to 20 minute increments over on the channel as well if you miss the streams so be sure you tune in for those if you can if not again the videos will be up and you can watch them that way we are going to be kicking off against lafc today you see miggy one player of the month um and it's uh, all all going really well we're in third place right now but we are a game behind nycfc and we could definitely take that spot over with a good game against lafc right here we are still playing on ultimate difficulty so keep that in mind the games are tough the games are fun and uh, this is the team that we're working with right now so it's going to be fun and we're going to go ahead and hop straight into this game i should probably tweet this stream out as well tweet 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 um Switching over to the hashtag ATL UTD career mode. There is an Atlanta United event going on right now. I do know. I don't know. Is that still going on? The Atlanta United uh, pro FIFA thing? Which, if we sign an Atlanta United player for the, for the EMLS, that'd be dope. I'd love to try to like get games in with them if they end up moving to Atlanta or something like that. Um, just to kind of see. Because obviously I'm not a pro player. I'm not going to act like I am. Look at the stadium half full. <laughs> Pre-game life. We are loading in here. Atlanta United. Beautiful, man. Love it. Going up against LAFC to start off the episode. Mercedes-Benz Stadium. MLS ball right there. Martin Tyler, Alan Smith. Players walking out. Parky up front as the captain, as you would expect. Flag wavers all the way around. Look at that mom haircut on the left. Player to watch, Miguel Almiron. Five goals in the last three matches. He's absolutely killing it. Um, probably near the top of the list for goal scorers as well. But here we go. Kicking off with the match ball, the Nativo ball, MLS size 5, however you may like it. Barco. I can't break this defense down, man. They're playing so defensively right now. <coughs> I need the game to open up a little bit. <coughs> That's not what I meant, man. It literally, like, slowed my defender down right there. I don't know why, but it, like, pulled me away from um, playing defense. Like, if you look at this, where Julian Gressel is, it just, like, pulled me away instead of towards. I literally pulled down on it, and it ran the other way. Literally just let him have an open shot on goal. That's ridiculous, man. Oh, Julian Gressel with the header. Let's go. What a cross. Beautiful cross from Greg Garza right there for the finish. We're 1-1 back into this game. Putting the pressure on. Got to get a result out of this game, man. Needed to chest that down right there.
I'm telling you, I don't know what it is about this counter, but it's like defenders fall asleep. I don't know if it's only on ultimate, but I swear it like didn't happen to me on legendary. Um, it's like the new version of the kickoff glitch, I feel like. It's like you just get like an extra level of pace and strength when you're holding somebody off of the ball. It, I, ugh, it feels weird. I don't like it. Last chance before the end of the half to tie this up. It's going to be out, and that's going to be the end of the half. All right, we're down 2-1 at the end of the half against LAFC. Um, a little unfortunate to concede that goal right there right off a of kickoff. Um, but we're going to try to push forward here. Christian Ramirez with a goal himself. Obviously the ex-Minnesota uh, United man. Um, so I don't know, man. We got to push forward, though. Right five minutes after we had scored a goal, we ended up conceding. So a bit unfortunate, like I said. But we're going to push forward in the second half and hopefully get something out of this. We have 62% possession as well. Definitely should not be allowing this to happen. Just a really good counter from them. And a little lucky with the lack of defending. Oh, that touch is almost perfect. Ref. Ooh. How did you just shoot that straight at the keeper, man? Try to slow him down a little bit because, I mean, their counter is just killing me, man. Barco, beautiful. All right, 2-2. Two, two. We get a goal from Barco there to level it up. 58th minute, still pushing forward. We need that something different, and I'm not sure what it is. Um, but our finishing is just a little off today, and um, I'm trying to figure out what it is that's going to give us that little bit of an edge that we need to win this game. Not gonna lie to you guys, it's super awkward having um, <laughs> lurkers and no active chat. I'm so used to having like an active chat, you guys are usually so talkative. Now I feel like I'm just doing a live recording of Atlanta United, which isn't a bad thing. Assisted shooting, which is good sometimes. Oh, but like right there. I probably could have biked that and gotten a better finish off of that, to be honest, but. <sighs> Get rid of the ball. What is happening? It's always the cheesiest ways I can see goals, man. It's so frustrating. Carlos Vela, though. Gets a goal, puts him in the lead. 3-2. Exciting game. Carlos Vela looks like a frog in this. I don't know why. That was so frustrating, though. It's like I literally couldn't pass it away from that defender. Please tell me, how did you just shank that shot that badly? All right, let's go ahead and try to make some changes to the team. Barco's getting a little tired. Uh, we'll bring in Andrew Carlton. Julian Gressel. Let's bring in Brandon Vasquez and throw him on the right and see how he does. Oh, I just shanked that shot, man. I don't know what turned my foot so hard, but frustrating to say the least. I know this is a super small thing, but I do wish they would have put the uh, scoreboard on the, on the sidebar right there.
Fall back, fall back. Like, that's how I get scored on. What is my defender doing right there? It's stuff like that. Like, I don't get, I don't concede goals that, like, I'm just like, I deserve to concede that. Like, what just happened right here? So frustrating. Like, what happens? Why is my man on the line right there? And then Christian Ramirez, easy goal. Brad falls over. Ah, oh, dude. Just not a game that I feel like I should have lost this badly. Or lost in general. Like, a tie I would have been okay with, but... So frustrating, man. So many opportunities to score with Joseph Martinez that game, though. And I just fell up short. 16 shots, man. 10 on target. And, oh, man. It's all right, though. We still have a couple games left in this episode to turn it around. Julian Gressel hopefully can bag a couple more goals. Miguel Almiron as well. We're still looking for Joseph Martinez to push forward. I wish they would have training kits in the game. I understand it's like more stuff for them to do. We have 12 goals so far, top scoring team in the league. Our defense is giving us a little bit of trouble, um, but we are scoring the most goals so far in the league. Tied with Red Bulls though. The touches are poor right now, I won't lie. Like what is that for a tackle? What is that for a tackle? Oh my god, dude, I'm getting so mad. What is this? Like, what is that, like, attempted body right there? I don't know, man. It's just not feeling right right now. We have 51% possession. We're definitely losing possession compared to last half, but. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. We're going to bring in Jeff Lorenowitz. Um, and then as well, I didn't put him on the bench. Frustrating. We're bringing in Williams though. I, I'm not gonna play Barco at striker. I just, I just there's not enough there's not enough strength or pace for him to play at striker in this team. And I'm not starting him over Garza left mid. Oh my god, the players bump so hard against each other, man. And like, how is that not a foul? If that... <laughs> if that what semi-assisted shooting is, that felt like manual. Like, there was literally no assistance on that shot. Can somebody explain this to me? We're gonna watch this back because this doesn't make sense. So hide that. Right here. Okay, fine, bad pass. But like this tackle, seriously? Seriously? That's what happens? I'm gonna get nutmegged every time because I, I hit circle here and it bounces off of his leg. I get nutmegged, perfect pass. Brad comes out, whatever. Michael Parkhurst probably could have gotten the ball right there, but that's fine. And then, like, really? Like, that's what's going to happen? 
Because that's the, that's the third time this has happened this game. And two of them have turned into goals. I did not want to pass the ball right there. But like again, LGP is just so bad in this game. I don't... And then I get scored on like that. Like Brad literally can't save anything. But again, another one where it's just like LGP falls apart. Look at this. I don't even want to play a third game with this team right now. What is that? And then, what? Is this like scripting or what? I don't know. He's offside, it doesn't matter. All right, one goal. Something has to change here. I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm over here scoring goals with Joseph Martinez on the left wing. Literally like his worst position in history, but that's fine. We're going to lose this game. We're probably going to lose this game 3-1. It easily could have been 4-3. 4-1 at this point. Oh, my God. GG, man. Whatever. Chalk it up as an L. That's two losses in the same episode, though. I don't get how you're supposed to do time finishing whenever you press circle and it automatically goes for a diving header. Like, I wanted a power finish there, not a diving header that went, like, half a foot. We were the better team in that game, too. Two out of, two out of those three goals shouldn't have happened. They happened because the defense just stopped playing. But that dropped us into sixth place. And honestly, could be worse. Because there's, te there's teams with games in hand. One more game here. We're going up against LA F or uh, LA Galaxy. Ibrahimovic. After those past two games, this this I don't see this going well. I really don't. Defensively, it's just shocking how bad it is. It literally says Tito's fine. Whatever. He's starting on the bench. What's up, Joseph? It's been a rough day, man. It's been a rough day. We're struggling with the squad. It's not working out. Oh, man. We're going up against LA Galaxy now, too. This is going to be the last game of the episode as well. I need to get some food in me. We're going to let this intro go through. All right. LA or trash? Saw some of the Fulham career mode. Glad you were able to jump into that. Um, that that VOD should go up soon, and then I'm gonna edit it, and then hopefully it'll uh, will uh, be able to move forward a little bit. Because I I don't know if that fully processed over to being a 20 minute video yet, but I'm still waiting on that stream from yesterday to switch over. Let's go, man progress that's all we need is a goal like that from nagby makes it so much better for us and that just kick starts that's all we need is a kick start right there because this touch from nagby and the shot first time oh progress man that's good 
We have to win this game. We have to we have to win this game to stay relevant. <laughs> because the East is kind of, they're gaining traction right now. There's a lot of teams in front of us. Again, I'm glad it's challenging because we're playing on Ultimate this year and it's not like a walk in the park. But... Like, what did I just do? Oh, dude, they toned pace down so bad. Uh, but... Oh, my God. I double-clicked cl cl uh, X by accident. I was just trying to get this pass to Brad and double tapped it and it passed it straight straight to Zlatan man was that did I just say it was his first goal of the season honestly I think Tito's about to change the game for me I need to use him more I'm like trying to readjust to the fact that I even have him in the team hmm it's weird because like I double I like triple tapped X right there no pass happens and do the same thing with Brad Brad freaking passes it straight to Ibra what is your sub goal I mean obviously as of right now sub goal is to get to a thousand so that I can you know bro near post is so OP I don't get it man <sighs> struggling man right now I'm struggling um, what is your sub goal but yeah a thousand ideally Obviously, because a thousand gets you to being able to be a YouTube partner, which I was before and obviously got it taken away because of the new partnership program and everything like that. Um, think what you will about that. But, bro, I'm going to be real honest with you. I have not kept up with the U.S. Open Cup like at all this year, minus uh, obviously our game. I was offside. I, I couldn't even tell you who's in the final right now. I know it's today, but that's about it. Yeah, Joseph, that... I mean, <laughs> near post goals are so nice every time, man. I've just been scored on by the near post, I think, four times today. Four or five times. And there's nothing you can do, like, in terms of the keeper. Like, you can't tell the keeper to go near post. It's just for whatever reason, right now, near post is OP. And I need to get my finishing down to the point where I can abuse the near post. But like the left wing right here, that's where the left winger is killing me. Although Philadelphia has been playing well, so you can't really count them out. I'm really hoping that it's just today, man. Sorry, my wallet is killing me. Um, ah. I really hope it's just today that's the issue because we're losing all three games in this episode and it's just ridiculous. Some good goals, some bad goals, really bad passing today on my part. I can't get the counter to work for me at all right now. Houston are winning right now, figured, again, I not even paying attention to the game. Did Albert Ellis actually score? That's game. Game. Oh man, so frustrating. That's it. GG's. Uh, huh. we're just gonna let the clock run out there. Rough episode, boys. Rough episode. Hopefully tomorrow will be easier. Um, it was a decent game for sure. Definitely could have put more into it. Um, the passing was just so bad today, man. My passing, my defense so many mistakes were made and you just can't make mistakes on ultimate difficulty that's going to drop us so hard in the in the table